Hello everybody, Shane again, and I want to talk about this Sagat deck that I played for the first ever Jasco Games UFS staff tournament. So the way it worked was that uh, Jasco Games held uh, an event where they handpicked eight players to compete in a tournament, and then the community of UFS players each could submit up to two deck lists. And uh, before the tournament started, uh, each of the eight tournament participants had to pick a deck that was submitted by the players to play in the tournament. And depending on how they did in the tournament, um, the player who submitted that deck list got prizes, uh, depending on how they did. So, for example, I played this Sagat deck submitted by a player named Corey, and I got first place. So, Corey ended up getting the first place prize, which was an entire booster box of his choice. Um, so, I just want, kind of want to talk about the deck that I played, his deck that he submitted, and uh, I just, I really like the deck and I had a lot of fun playing it in the tournament. In the description box below, I am gonna post two links to the tournament. There's a recap video, and then there's a video of the grand finals. So you could follow those links and watch them if you like, but otherwise, let's proceed to the deck profile. Let's start off with the centerpiece of the deck, Sagat. This is the character card, and he has two enhanced abilities, but the top one is the one we are really playing this deck around. So what it says is that during your attack, you can take the top card of your deck, put it into your card pool face down, and you can target commit one of their foundations. So uh, what happens is that um, in UFS, during the enhance step, the player who plays the attack gets the first enhance. So what you can do is uh, with Sagat, you play an attack, you get the first enhance, so you use his top ability, add the top card of your deck to your carpal face down, and then you get to target commit one of their foundations. Now cards that are committed cannot use their abilities, so by getting the first enhance, you get to lock down a foundation before they have an opportunity to use it. So Sagat is very, very good in that regard. He can control the opponent on offense, and if he has any reversals, he can also control the opponent on defense as well. Uh, so let's move into the attacks. We have four copies of Gyroblade. Gyroblade is very synergistic with Sagat. Its uh, enhanced ability is discard one face down card from your card pool and draw one card. So you basically play Gyroblade, add the top card of your deck to your card pool, face down with Sagat then you can use Gyro Blade to discard this from your card pool and draw one card. So you generate a lot of advantage off of Gyro Blade, and it's also two speed, low zone for four damage. So a lot of times what would happen is that I would play this just to poke with and draw one card, and then they would just take four damage, and then at the end of the turn it would go to my momentum so I could use it for like something later. So that was very, very good. I really liked uh, Gyro Blade in the deck. Now the next attack I want to talk about is Gyro Attack. Gyro Attack is very synergistic with Sagat. And what this does is you add a face down card from your card pool to your momentum, and then this attack and its multiple copy gets uh, plus two speed. So you basically uh, play Gyro Attack, use Sagat at the top card of your deck to your face down, then use Gyro Attack's ability, add it to your momentum, and then you can multiple, and then both of these are four speed mid zone for five damage. And you can use Sagat's ability on the multiple copy as well. Um, so this sports 10 damage, and it's just 5 difficulty for 10 damage is very, very good. The next attack is Tiger Shot. We play 4 copies of Tiger Shot. Now this was a card that I wasn't really a fan of when I first picked the deck, but during tournament play, this was one of the MVP cards, mainly because of the plus 1 mid block. I was able to block many attacks with this card, and uh, it's also a, a dual purpose card as well because it's enhanced ability, you discard one face down card from your card pool, and your opponent discards one momentum. So you could actually discard your opponent's momentum with this card and keep them from their power plays. So I was actually very impressed with this card overall. I really like Tiger Shot. And then, last but not least, we have the finisher. We have two copies of Tiger Destruction. This is the kill card. This can do a lot of damage. It has powerful four, so for each momentum that I have, I can, uh, I can discard them and get plus four damage. So I can discard one momentum for plus four, two momentum for plus eight, and so on. So this was the kill card, and uh, I actually won Grand Finals with this card. I won the final game with a Tiger Destruction. 
So that was uh, that was pretty hype. So yeah, those are the attacks. Uh, Gyroman's attacks really synergize well with Sagat, and this is the main meat of the deck. This is where a lot of the magic happens. And then Tiger Shot is a very good block, and it also stifles their momentum. And then Tiger Destruction is the kill card. If I had to do anything different with this attack lineup, what I would do is I would take out one Tiger Shot and put in one copy of Tiger Uppercut. Because Tiger Uppercut is a reversal, so and it also has stun one. So you could reversal them, you can stun one, so they have to commit a foundation. But most importantly, you can use Sagat on their turn and target commit one of their foundations. And uh, this has an ability, the next attack this turn gets plus three or minus three damage. So if I play it on my turn, I'm going to give the next attack plus three damage. If I reversal them on their turn, then I give their next attack minus three damage. So this is a, a multi-purpose card that is very, very good. That's the only thing I would change in the attack lineup. But overall, I was very happy with how, how much damage I could output with this deck. Next, we're going to move on to the foundations. Uh, we have a couple spams here. We have four copies of Push the Limit. This card is very good because after you play this, your opponent has to flip one of their foundations, which means it permanently blanks it for the rest of the game, unless they have something that can unflip it. But this was very good because it shuts off the opponent's uh, resources and uh, makes them have less abilities that they can use. Developmental Years is another uh, four of. This is another spam foundation. After you check this card, you can ready any foundation in your staging area. I didn't really use this in the tournament, but uh, I, I see why this card is in the deck, and uh, it is very, very good. I just never had the opportunity to use it. Uh, then we have some defensive foundations. First, we have four copies of Cage Fighter. This card is super good. Basically, flip this after opponent makes a check to play an, an attack that check gets minus one. So what happens is that when they play an attack, you can flip this and make them commit more resources to pass the check to play the attack. So that's uh, one piece of defense in the deck. The other really good piece of defense is Journey West. This card is insane. You flip this and if you do not block your opponent's attack, their next attack gets plus two difficulty. So what happens is that, especially like in the early game when, there's, when they want to throw many attacks, you can just flip this face tank and attack, and basically they have to play foundations because they can't really attack you anymore. So this helps you stay alive, and uh, the combination of Cage Fighter and Journey West is a very good defense in this deck. Next up we have four copies of Artifice Avarice. Whenever you check this card, you get to draw a card, and that's uh, very, very insane. And also it has another ability where you commit this and your order attack gets plus two speed. Now this only works on six attacks in the deck. It works on the two Tiger Destructions and the four Tiger Shot. So uh, if, you, if I really wanted to, I could play this, give it plus two speed, and just push the four damage through. But if you watch the Grand Finals vid, I actually won the game by putting plus two speed on my Tiger Destruction. So it pushed it through so that the speed was too fast and my opponent couldn't block it. So this card really came in handy. It was one of the MVPs in the deck. Another foundation we have is United Against Terrorism, uh, which says after a card leaves your card pool due to an effect, you can ready one foundation that has not been readied this combat phase. So let's say I give plus two speed on like a tiger shot, and then I clear it with like Sagat or something. I can flip this and ready uh, Artifice Avarice and give my next attack plus two speed. So one thing to note about United Against Terrorism, this works with Sagat, works with Tiger Destruction, works with Tiger Shot, but it will not work for Gyro Blade because Gyro Blade says discard one face down card from your card pool as a cost. So everything before the colon is the cost, everything after the colon is the effect. So because you have to discard the card as a cost, it will not work because United Against Terrorism says due to an effect. But that only works, or that only doesn't work with Gyro Blade. It works with Tiger Shot, Tiger Destruction, and Sagat himself. So this card is great because it helps me ready foundations so I can pass checks or use their abilities again. Next up we have two one ofs. The first one is Admissions Fees. Uh, this card is very good, but I never really got to use it more than once. I won my first round with this card by giving my Tiger Destruction plus two speed, forcing it through, and making my opponent take like 17 damage with it. But I never ran against a Templar deck that like drew two cards so I can draw two as well. I never got it out against the Tengu Dive deck so I can draw two cards against Tengu Dives. But it is only a one of in the deck, so maybe I just didn't see it enough. But I do agree with this as a one of. I really like admissions fees. And then one copy of uh, Esoteric Yoga. 
Uh, what this card does is that um, after your opponent draws any cards, you get to commit this and then they have to discard a card. And then you can also destroy it uh, while it's committed to give any attack minus four speed. So it helps you block. Uh, I didn't really see either of these, but like I said, it may just be it may be just because they're one ofs. But I did check this card. I, I was playing against Vega, and I needed to check a five, and I knew Vega was going to hack my check by one, and I ended up checking a six. So this card definitely carried its weight. But yeah, that's the whole deck. So there's uh, two Tiger Destructions, four Tiger Shots, four Gyro Attack, and then four Gyro Blade. And then for the Foundations, there is four Push the Limit, four Developmental Years, four Cage Fighter, four Journey West, uh, four Artifice Avarice, then four United Against Terrorism, then one Admissions Fees, and one Esoteric Yoga with Sagat to top it off. So that was the Sagat deck that I played for the first ever Jasco Games UFS Staff Tournament. I had a lot of fun at the event. Uh, thank you to Corey for submitting the deck list. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing it. Gyroman's attacks with Sagat are super good. And I uh, can't wait for the next staff tournament. So, um, as always, thank you all for watching my video. Leave a comment if you wish. I read all of them. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.